Lately, season four of Fortnite has been absolutely crazy with all the brand new changes and of course, all the amazing superheroes that have been added to the game. This battle pass has been one of the most exciting ones ever released. As you guys know, we also have brand new superheroes and mythic constantly being added to the game, but there's a lot of secrets that no one is talking about and changes are made to Fortnite in season four recently in the most recent patch. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like because in this video, we're going over some secrets that I can't wait to talk about. And at the end of the video, we have some brand new leaks that many people have not addressed. So, as you guys know, the most recent weeks we've been covering all the Wolverine challenges, and honestly, I am so excited for the upcoming Wolverine skin. Wolverine's one of my favorite superheroes, and honestly, he is one of the most ruthless, cool superheroes. And of course, there's also other superheroes that we need to talk about, like Black Panther and Ant-Man. As you guys know, there was an Ant-Man and a Black Panther statue recently added, and of course, their brand new mythics were released, but you haven't seen them in the regular Battle Royale because they're only available in the limited time mode, which makes me very excited because there's a Venom Mythic, a Black Panther Mythic, and of course, the Wolverine Mythic. But there is no Ant-Man Mythic, nor is there a leak of any Ant-Man skins, so I'm a little worried. We already have Panther's Prowl, west of Misty Meadows. In the map grid E7, you can find the Black Panther statue floating on a piece of land. Now, we also have Ant-Man's Manor. Now, Ant-Man's Manor, you'll find tons of things. It's located the northeast of Holly Hedges, also on an elevated piece of land with a giant doghouse and tall grass on top of it. This landmark is home to Anton, presumably one of Ant-Man's and both hinting toward the eventual appearance of Black Panther and Ant-Man. But one thing we don't see is a Venom area. Now, you may be wondering, Garrett, what would a Venom area even look like? We don't know just yet, but what we can assume is that Ant-Man, Black Panther, and Venom are going to have their own little areas and, of course, their very own mythics, which we already have the Black Panther, which is the shield, and we also have the Venom, which is the grab, but we don't have anything for Ant-Man, and the only thing that Ant-Man could bring is to make you super small, but that's something that they won't do in Fortnite because, well, that's sort of like cheating. Speaking of superheroes, as you guys know, Iron Man has joined the map. Not only has he joined the map, but he also has joined the game. As you guys know, we have Battle Pass Tier 100 Iron Man that is unlockable. You unlock Tony Stark, and as you do the Awakening Challenges, which I made a video about, you can then unlock the Iron Man suit. But there is also an Iron Man boss. That's right, dude. There is now an Iron Man superhero in-game at the newest POI, the point of interest, which is Stark's Laboratory. At this location, you can can find many new things, including Iron Man himself, and he has his own vault with all his own special technology and loot boxes that you can find some of the best gear in the Battle Royale. So for some reason, if you don't know where this new Stark Industry headquarters is, it's located within the new circle on the map, with plenty of Iron Man references like futuristic cars and different suits in the building. In the last couple of weeks, we have seen many new things added to Fortnite, and this is just one of them. With Iron Man joining as a superhero, or aka the hero you need to kill to get the new mythics, he is two different types of mythics. He has his unibeam that comes from his chest and deals lots of damage and breaks through builds. So if someone's in a build, you can beam through their build and beam them. And he has his, his Iron Man gauntlets, which are like pulsers. They're really cool, okay? Now, they're sort of similar to Doom's like gauntlets, but Iron Man's gauntlets are a little bit better and cooler because they go with the suit and you can fly and you can shoot. I don't know. I like Iron Man better than Doom, so let me know in the comment section which one you like more because personally, I'm an Iron Man guy. So when you kill Iron Man, he drops his unibeam, his gauntlets, and his vault key card. Now, to get inside his vault, you'll be noticing there's tons of new items in there and loot crates, so make sure you guys pick up some of the Stark loot in there, like the Stark rifle. One of my favorite rifles in the game right now, by the way. In addition to this, we also have a super secret reference to the Avengers Endgame that really no one is talking about, and I'm super excited you guys point it out. So, Tony Stark actually has a log cabin in the game. Now, you're probably like, Garrett, he has his own area and a log cabin? Yeah, literally, a log cabin. This log cabin can be found right on the coast of the lake within the new section of the map. This is an unnamed POI, which is a point of interest being called Heart Lake. If you haven't been there yet, I highly recommend you go check it out because literally it's right there. Regardless, superheroes are pretty awesome. And with the new addition of all these superheroes and the Marvel LTM, which I absolutely clapped cheeks in yesterday's video. So make sure you guys go check it out. I used the Wolverine and the brand new Mythic. If you haven't seen them, I made a whole video showcasing them. Here's some gameplay right now showcasing them. Starting off with Thor. Thor's brand new Mythic ability is his hammer. He literally can call down his hammer from the sky to land on someone dealing, I think, upwards of 100 damage and an absolutely destroys booty cheeks. Then we have Wolverine
Wolverine's claws, literally his claws, that come out from his hands, and you just get this left click on every single person you see, and it does 50 damage per swipe. It's honestly pretty amazing. But it doesn't stop there because Wolverine's claws also allow you to do a whirlwind ability if you press space and then left click while in the air. You actually just start doing a whirlwind with the claws, doing a massive amount of damage, upwards of 100 damage. Speaking of storms, there is literally a brand new mythic ability that belongs to Storm, the superhero. It's called Storm's Launch, and honestly, it's not that great. It pushes enemies away and also deals damage. So if someone's like right in your face, like using the Wolverine or the She-Hulk ability, you can just push them away like, see you later, loser. And then Black Panther's kinetic armor, you take 50% less damage and you absorb all that damage and then output it into an explosion that literally explodes around you hurting enemy, which is pretty cool. Like the movie, you never seen the movie and you won't understand what I'm talking about. Then my favorite ability, the Venom smash and grab, which you literally smash someone or grab them and smash them. It's, it's amazing. Highly recommend it. It's like a hook. It's the best thing ever. You bring people towards you and then you just destroy them with your claws or your fists or your gun or whatever. And lastly, She-Hulk's fists that are pretty lame compared to the Wolverine, but they are, you know, whatever. You pretty much just punch people. And then you can jump really high and then like pounce on, and it's pretty lame. It's like a ground slam thing. I'm not a big fan of it, but it works. Now, this is the part that I'm loving because no one's really talking about it. This is a brand new Super Slurp Juice Gnomes. That's right, let me explain. There's a brand new advertisement that can be see all over the map showing off what seems to be a new and improved Slurp Juice. And on it is a face of a very unfamiliar gnome. On the map, a gathering of gnomes can be seen observing the new product. But when you get close as a player, we see an explosion. Clearly, the product is a work in progress. Don't drink it. And if you do drink it, drink at your own risk. You might have an explosion in your pants. In previous weeks, we found the secret location of one of the amazing henchmen that are in retail row, sort of sad and in their boxers watching TV. But in today's video, we have something special. We have a brand new ghost versus shadow dance battle. A dance battle that can be seen going on between two members of separate factions. And if you leave them alone, they will not attack you and you can watch them as they continue to duke it out with their funky moves. I made a whole video talking about this next point where we discussed the brand new custom superhero showcasing a ton of amazing brand new skins that you guys created with the item shop using code gaming with Gary. These brand new custom hero skins are absolutely fantastic where people even made Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and so much more like Frozone and villains like Spawn. You can be male or female. You can have a cape or no cape, a mask or no mask, and even a belt with different color variants. Anything's possible. So get the customizing because I really want to have a custom superhero fashion show and I want you to be there. This next point is really important because there's something really big happening and coming very soon to our Fortnite and I want you guys to be prepared. There's going to be brand new Galactus drones entering into Fortnite Battle Royale and they're going to be pretty annoying. It's a strong robot that shoots at you and sends smaller drones at you and you can pick up the smaller drones when you kill them and use them as a weapon. If you're lucky and strong enough to kill the drone, it will drop a legendary rocket launcher and even more amazing loot, which is pretty cool, but also something that might be really annoying for all the competitive players out there, so be careful. Lastly, brand new leaks and secrets that I wanted to address right at the end for all of you guys that watched all the way till this point. Brand new secrets for Black Panther, Venom, and Iron Man are just around the corner with skins being released very soon and of course, more variants to Iron Man and potentially even Hulkbuster themed skins for Iron Man. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. Go click the next video to go watch it. I appreciate you guys. I believe by the time this video goes out, we hit a million subscribers. So thank you guys. Bye. I love you.